Well, get in. The scorcher out there. Billy's favorite day of the week used to be Wednesdays. Not only did her Dungeons and Dragons group meet, but it happened to be pizza day at school. She'd slide up to lunch lady Lisa with two greasy slices of pepperoni in her hand, pass her a crisp $5 bill, and treat herself. Well, Billy used to love Wednesdays until her one true love, pizza, turned on her. At first, she thought it might have just been the extra pepperoni causing her stomach to feel like it was about to explode. Then she started dropping weight, fast. She would fall asleep in class. And then, well, then the intense trips to the bathroom started. One colonoscopy later, the doctors confirmed it was ulcerative colitis. But what was worse was that it wasn't just Pizza Wednesdays that changed. When your body sees your intestines as the enemy, you need a lot more fluid to keep up with holidays, classroom birthdays, and even prom, where your favorite pizza spot will donate 50 pies just to spite you. But for Billy, it was hard not to feel like the world was crashing down around her. Sarah was 13 when she first won the junior bowling champion of Texas. When her parents got divorced, her dad would take her to the bowling alley to spend time together. She loved the smell of worn out bowling shoes, greasy mozzarella sticks, and the satisfying clack of the pins. When she was 16, her Crohn's caused a portion of her lower intestine to be removed. Sure, now she gets some stares, but it doesn't affect her near-perfect bowling score. But that near-perfect bowling score didn't help when her health was in the gutters. Surviving junior year of high school? Easy. Dodgeball? Not so much. Ever since he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, what used to be his favorite game had become a nightmare. Josh often wondered if his insulin pump was a magnet for those darn rubber balls. When one would make contact, it felt like being sucker punched by the rock. Thankfully, Josh's friends always had his back. But Josh couldn't dodge every curveball life threw at him. Kelly here had started the week with sky high expectations. She'd seen enough Molly Ringwald movies to know how prom was supposed to feel. It was, to her, the night she would step into being a woman. Plus, she'd been dying to be swept off her feet by her date, Todd. <sighs> Kelly always had a flair for the dramatic. There were two things she loved, being the center of attention and movies. Naturally, she planned on becoming an actress. When she was diagnosed with POTS, students in her acting class would mistake her lightheadedness and fainting as her just really committing to the scene. Eventually, it was easier for Kelly to go along with it. But if they really knew what Kelly was going through, they'd understand it was the greatest performance of all. But nobody puts baby in a corner. And sure, sometimes chronic illnesses will knock you down, but understanding what you're going through helps you see who you really are. A star. A charming slice. A perfect 10. And 
your squad's MVP.